Hey developers, so today we're going to look at Vue as X and we're going to look at Vuedify and I'm going to just talk about some of the differences, some of the similarities between the two of them and we're just going to talk about that for a little bit. Before we get too far, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Hey guys, when you're building your own website, whether it's for yourself, your business or a brand, one of the hardest things to do is to find that awesome domain name that is short, relevant and shows the world what you're all about, which is exactly why I went and got viewcourse.tech which goes so seamlessly with my brand. I'm currently using it as a really great website platform for my new view course, and it's absolutely perfect. Join the likes of Viacom, Intel, and CES, and get your very own .tech at a whopping 90% off on one, five, and 10 year domains using the link go.tech slash Eric. It'll be in the description below. Only this Black Friday. The sale starts on the 26th of November, so you can pre-register now and get a further 10% off on the same day sale. So make sure you go to go.tech slash Eric in the link in the description below, pre-register and you can get an additional 10% off. Thanks. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I am also the author of Vue.js in action. And of course, as always, links are in the description. So last time I talked to you guys, I was working with Vue's X and you can see that's a front end view component library. And you can see here it has a layout system, which really reminds me of Bootstrap and some of the other layout systems and some of the other com front end component libraries. And it basically describes itself as, as a library of Vue.js components that facilitates, facilitates front end development and streamlines work with great, great visual quality. Well, on the other hand, Vuetify is a material design component framework. So Vuetify is a Vue UI library with beautifully handcrafted ma material components. No design skills required. So that's a, that's a, a big difference. So material design is a, a specific type of framework. The way you put together your Vue components is you're buying into the material design look and feel and some of the components. There's a actual specification to the material design. You see here if you go to material.io slash design. And it really is big on accessibility. And you can see the foundation overview here. Um, it's really, it has this kind of look and feel to it that uh, is based on this material design idea. While on the other hand, it looks like this view, views axe is just more of just a, a, a bunch of neat, easy to use Vue.js components that facilitate front-end development. So we can kind of take a look at some of the differences here. Uh, there is uh, definitely, Vuetify has a better team that's good at selling sponsorships. <laughs> I don't see, uh, I see a few, actually, you know, Views X has some sponsorships too, but Vuetify has a ton. And because Vuetify is really well known, I think a lot of people know it really well and looks like Vue Mastery or Vue School is a big contributor. Uh, uh, we could take a look here. They both have, well, let's look on GitHub to see how many stars they have. So if you look inside the views X, you got, let's see, let's see, we have, where's the stars? Three, 3.6 thousand stars on Vuetify. I'm almost certainly sure they have more. Let's see here, GitHub issues, Vuetify. Yeah, it looks like they have 22,000 stars. So Vuetify, much bigger project. A lot more commits. Looks like it's probably a lot more active if that's important to you. So Vuetify is definitely a more active, more stars, bigger repository, more things happening with it than on the Views X side. Uh, let's see, well, let's take a look at some of the other differences. You can see here they have a roadmap here. I was told, someone told me in the comments that there's gonna be some bigger changes gonna be happening to Views X in the future and they were hinting at it in their Discord channel. So maybe that's something to keep in mind. It looks like they both have like GitHub, Discord, Twitter. I mean, there's tons of ways. There's issues page. It looks like in Vuetify, I just noticed the support. There's companies doing consulting for both of these. Let's see if you do consulting. Yeah, consulting support, John Leader, the creator. Looks like he uh, does consulting services for it. I'm sure you might be able to get some consulting through, through some of the help here too or through Lusax web. All right, so that's important. Do you know how big a GitHub repository is, how much backing the project has, how much support it has? That is really important. You can see here, 
definitely Beautify is getting money in the door. They have lots of different sponsorships and they have a, a bigger project. So you can look at the styles and animations. By the way, the setup for these are really similar. I was looking at that, the getting started, the quick start guide for both. They're just really easy. You do view, um, in view CLI that you can actually do view create, or excuse me, view add, viewify. So there's a view CLI three package while on the view act side, you just do an NPM install. And uh, they both probably have similar browser support. There's a lot, since it is a material design framework, Vutify, you know, really em emphasizes the accessibility. And the views act side, I don't think it mentions anything about accessibility. So if that's a big issue, uh, I'm sure they do have it in here, but it, it isn't emphasized. So I don't know how big of it, um, a deal that is. Looks like there's a lot of customizations. They both have um, like mobile, they have these breakpoints system. They both have a grid type system. They have like this flex grid, but it's looks like just uses flex box on both of them. Um, you could, like I said, you could do tons of, of customization, accessibility, like internationalization. I don't think Views X mentions internationalization at all. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Um, you can even do different themes. There's a whole theme generator for Vutify. Well, ViewsX doesn't have any kind of theme generator. All you can do is change the primary colors and change the icons. Styles and animations. So we can look at colors here. You can do all sorts of things. I think with Vutify, there's just tons of different built-in CSS and built-in SAS variables that you can change and update. You can see here, that here's all different red light and five, four, three, two. So this is all built in. While on the views act side, you don't quite have as much, uh, much changes there, much differences that you can't really change a whole lot. Let's look at the UI components. This is something that they share together. And by the way, this is how I'm gonna do the video. I'm just gonna kinda just go off the cuff here. We're not gonna get in too deep. If you guys are interested in more a deep dive explanation between the two, leave a comment below. Let me know what you wanna hear. Maybe I can create an app in both and we can kinda see the differences. But let's take a look at common stuff like buttons. So here's a button here. Let's go to material design. Let's see here, banners, bars, buttons. So here is some basic button looks and feels. You have raised, depressed, drop. You can do icons on it. You can have them floating. You can do extra large sizes, outlines, rounded tiles, blocks, loaders up next. On the views act side, you still have the filled borders, flats, gradients, lines, which is kind of nice, relief colors, text color, um, icon only, size, you can have the built-in router pushed into it, links. So definitely there's more, I would say between the buttons and the both, there's a little bit more variety on the Vutify side. There's also a lot more different props and you can do a lot of different slots on it. Uh, well, on the button side, I mean, you got quite a bit too. I kind of like the documentation a little bit better in the views act side. This looks a little bit more simpler. They both have really great examples. If you just click on any of the examples they have here, you can they even have this thing where you can kind of just see it. You can kind of play around with it. I think I like this better than, than the views act side. I can change the elevation. I can do blocking. I can look at what it looks at rounded color corners. I can change the different colors. We can turn off the loading, primary, secondary. It looks like you do a whole lot of stuff. Just kind of play around with buttons here. That's really neat. And then all the examples, you just click the view source. You can see how they do it with V columns on this side. On the buttons, on this one, you do VS for the views axe. So you can see the differences. I don't know if I had to go between the two, I definitely think you're better off just slightly on the Vutify side, if I just look at the buttons. I really like these simple and clear buttons, but I mean, you can easily create the same type of button in here as well. It looks like you even have floating action buttons, which is interesting. You can do all sorts of these floating action buttons here. Let's take a look at another one that's really common. Let's see, do we have, like we have menus, 
We have parallax, paginations. I wonder if we have um, where the modals are. Okay, here they are, dialogues. So you can see here, click me. Here's your little simple dialogue. Once, you hit, once again, you have tons of different options for each. Let's see, you can open dialogue. Um, seems to be pretty simple, works well. Let's see, in this side, here's the dialogues. So yeah, I mean, it looks, that's kind of different look and feel. Has this like floating X right here. It has the dialogue success. Definitely look for a different look and feel. And they have this, you can make this little um, vertical line here. You can even put prompts in it. I don't know, it's just a different looking style. I think this is a little simpler, but I think both work. I almost like, once again, I'd probably give it a little bit to the Beautify world. Let's look at one more, cards. This is really almost all UI frameworks have cards. So if we look at cards here, I mean, it looks pretty, here's like their more advanced cards. Um, I don't know, I, I think they look, I would give them, you know, they're just about the same. I mean, just the look and feel of them, the different inputs, it looks like you only have you can add the header, footer, media, fixed height. I'm sure there's like a million things you can do with cards in Beautify. When I was playing around with it, there was a ton if you look at the API. Uh, yeah, like everything here. You can do height, light, you can all these different props you can add to it. And then it has different events, uh, different slots. And then you also have this V card, and then you have V card actions, subtitles, text. I mean, there's just tons of things you can do with Beautify and, and cards. Let's look at one more. Let's look at banners. Do we have banners? So we don't have any banners over here. So they have breadcrumbs. Okay, here's breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Yeah, pretty simple breadcrumb. You can do three or four different styles. Breadcrumbs for Beautify. You have um, about the same amount of styles. I don't know. I, I think from looking at this, I mean, one thing with Beautify also has is they have directives which Views Axe doesn't have. You can do like ripples, they have more loading animations, things like that. They have professional support, they have premium themes. You can even buy themes. There is a premium Views Axe theme I saw that someone was selling that like created a dashboard. I think overall, if you're looking for a UI library, component library that's based on material design, then Viewtify is really a great way to go. I'm not gonna mention Quasar, that might be a different video. We can, do, we can do a compare and contrast in Quasar later on. If you're looking for just something really simple and you just want to throw in a few uh, simple components and you don't need everything that Viewtify offers, then I think easily jumping on Viewsax is not a bad idea. I mean, it has some really great simple designs for their components. A lot of things you might be able to just throw right into your project really easily. But if you want uh, a really high customizable just tons of different UI components based on material design, lots of flexibility, then I would go with Viewtify. So it just depends on your situation. You may not want to jump in the Viewtify world. Maybe it's too complicated. There's a lot of stuff. Um, it's getting started is about the same, but maybe there's you don't need all this stuff. You just need a couple of things and you like the look and feel of what's in here, then I would then I would jump on Views X. But if you want you're creating a much more complicated product and you want to use footers and dialogues and things. Maybe maybe you're going to use a calendar later on and, or banners, which you can see here, I think there's probably like 30 or 40 different type of components available in Beautify and probably, I don't know, 20 here, 25 here. So you definitely get a lot more on the Beautify side. But if that's not something you need, like you don't need banners, you don't need skeleton loaders, then, then there's no reason maybe you just need Vuzax. So that's kind of my thought and feel of it. Uh, I would love to hear what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Let me know which UI framework you like better, Beautify, or do you like Vuzax? Thanks.